Tom Moore. Tom Moore is going to be reading from his new novel, The Sign on My Father's House. Tom. As my truck descended toward the boat, so did my heart in my chest. I began to sweat and shake. I gripped the wheel with both hands and gasped for breath. Then a big old sob came out of me and I knew I was in trouble. I put my foot down on the brake and stopped my journey to law school. I turned into the parking lot of a small diner with a sign over the door that said, last stop for a ferry. I parked the truck where I could see it and I walked in. A bunch of people were inside, probably waiting for the boat. But an eerie quiet pervaded the room, as if a robbery were in progress. People moved about and went out the door with eyes averted. Then I saw why. Over by the coolers, on the other side of the pool table, were two large, unkempt men who appeared to be part of a motorcycle gang. Were there Hell's Angels in Port of Basque? They finished their game of pool and stood around for a minute exchanging a few words. Then they hugged loudly and slapped each other on the back. Black leather backs. One of them swung around on thick heels and staggered out, swaggered out the door. I could see a fellow jumping out of his way before the door slammed shut. The other biker looked sadly at the door and sat down at the little table, now with an empty chair. I went to the counter and ordered a big plate of french fries, gravy, and a large coke. Out in the parking lot we could hear the departing angel revving up his machine. The floor vibrated under my feet and the window rattled like an Apollo moon launch. There was no place to sit, so I went over to the earthbound angel, any port in a storm. Can I sit here? I asked. He nodded without looking up. So I sat and I ate my fries. Every now and then I'd glance out the window. Are you expecting company? He asked. No, I'm just checking on my truck. Catching the ferry? He placed a large steel helmet on the table beside my fries. It was a replica of the standard German army issue. I guess it was a replica. He ran his fingers through thinning hair and looked at me. I think so, I said. He'd asked him if he'd gone on the boat. I said, I think so. You think so? You don't know if you're going on the ferry. His honest question tapped a nerve. I looked him in the eyes and I said, when I eat these fries and drink that Coke, I'm going to decide. Outside, we could hear the Apollo launch roaring up the hill, possibly into space. The biker said, I crashed my bike outside Gander. Total write-off. I have to get a job on the mainland, make some money. I'll be coming home with a new bike Christmas. It's going to be cold, I said, driving a bike home in winter. Yes, and I don't want to go, he said. Why not? Because I met a woman. Now he was looking me straight in the eyes. Who is she? That guy's sister, Jasmine. He pointed to the door. We heard the last roar of the departing bike, and in the quiet of the room, his words were loud. Some people had been eavesdropping because a few murmured sadly, ah, and shook their heads. I don't want to go either. My heart spoke the words my head did not yet know. Why are you going? Law school, Dalhousie. You were accepted at Dell? Yeah. I munched on my fries. That's a pretty good gig. I know guys who apply but never got accepted. They accept 10 Newfoundlanders every year because we don't have a law school. So what's the problem? You in love too? I don't know, I said. Man, you don't know anything. You're not sure of anything. He reached into his pocket and pulled something out. The room went silent and people craned their necks to see what it was, but it was only a small brass case from which he extracted a business card and handed it to me. The words, you have assisted the peace angels, were printed in raised red lettering on a white background. It reminded me of father's sign on the house. On top was a peace sign and below was a cycle 
with angels' wings. If you're ever in Gander, he said, visit our clubhouse and the boys will treat you good. Just show them that card. Thanks, I said, and put it in my shirt pocket. He stood up. Look, pal, I just decided. I'm going back to Gander. You have a safe trip on the boat tonight. He stood in sturdy leather boots and held out his hand to me. He was tall with wide shoulders and a lanky build. How are you going to get there? I asked. Hitchhike. I'll be there by dawn. He smiled like he was just learning how to do it. A voice came across the room. I can take you as far as the Kippen's turn off. A buck-tooted fellow had been listening from another table. He wore a red plaid shirt and a baseball cap proclaiming some brand of beer. That's a good start, someone said. The other patrons nodded their approval. I was offered a fellowship at Memorial, I said. Customers nodded and considered this option. <laughs> That's great. They pay you to study, and you could stay at home, the biker said. Then why pay your own way to live with strangers, the buck-toothed fellow said. My coke was all gone. I reached to the round cardboard plate and took up the last french fry. I studied it for a moment and then I popped it into my mouth and I heard myself say to the biker, I can take you all the way to Gander. <laughs> I had put a sign up on my own house. Sometimes there's a point in life when you are sure you made the right choice. The mind floats in a zen-like peace, the sweet spot of existence. A rush of adrenaline surged through my veins. The greasy spoon customers broke into cheers and applause. Some of them followed the biker and me out into the parking lot. He tossed a duffel bag into the back of the truck and we boarded her like newlyweds embarking on life. <laughs> Bucktooth stuck his head in the driver's window and said, you got a slack tire there on the front. Have it looked to it before you go. Garage, mile up top of the hill. They all waved to us and we waved back as we drove away. We downed the windows. I tooted the horn. Why not? I thought, why the hell not? I was traveling with a rough and ready biker, a lover, a renegade. For the first time in my life, I was a renegade. Bigger, stronger, greater. The sign was up on my house and father would be proud. Thank you, Ed. Got it, buddy.